hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into a battle of ai image generator titans between mid journey versus stable diffusion both are incredibly powerful tools that can turn your ideas into stunning artwork in seconds but the question is which one should you use let's begin Mid Journey AI is an artificial intelligence tool that specializes in generating images based on text prompts. It is a platform designed for artists, designers, and anyone interested in creating visuals quickly and creatively through the AI generated art. Now, you see, there is like an option here to sign up if you wanted or log in if you haven't already. If you want to explore, just click on this button right here and you would be forwarded to the main dashboard. Now, once you have successfully created your account here in Midjourney, one of the key features is the text to image generation. Users can input descriptive text prompts and then the AI generates highly detailed images that match their description. For example, if you want to start creating something here, you might want to click the options here. All right, look around for a bit. Now you see, an another option here for Midjourney is the customizable styles because Midjourney allows users to specify various styles. For example, photorealism, to abstract art right here, or to maybe fantasy or retro styles like 1980s or steampunk. They also offer the high quality outputs. Generated images are typically of very high quality with intricate details such as this one if you see that it's very realistic right and creative interpretations of the input prompts for example this it also have an interactive user interface because here on the left side you would notice that you have the surveys you can explore and in terms of the uh now they also offer the chat which has the general chaos prompt traffic data theme and newbies for example this one right here for newbies all right the community collaboration has the integrations for discord allowing users to share their creations get feedback and of course from here you might want to check the uh, community of artists and creators you see that prompt craft will give you this also have the option to the join voice chat if you want all right but you need to subscribe to start chatting right here so you'd be able to do that you also have the option to personalize but it requires um subscription plan now there is a simple task option here wherein you can have a demographic survey personal values and beliefs multiple measures of personality and the completed surveys if you click on the demographic survey if you accept that you would notice you just have to answer this and it will help the algorithm for the mid journey which is a lot right now having said all of that let's head over to our next contender which is stable diffusion ai is an open source deep learning based image generation model designed to create high quality images from textual descriptions similar to other models like mid journey or dall e all right it also uses a process known as diffusion to improve random noise to a detailed image based on the text prompts provided by the user. Now, since stable diffusion is notable for being open source, allowing greater customization and accessibility for developers, artists, and creators. Now, for example, all we have to do is one of the key features here of a stable diffusion AI is the easy use of converting textual descriptions into highly detailed and varied images. For example, on this one, maybe we're looking for, uh, for example, a cat eating uh, lunch, maybe, or I don't know, eating a uh, fish. You see, you can put in the uh, aspect ratio, like, is it going to be portrait, landscape, and the uh, width and height. Now, let's maybe let's use the portrait for now. And you have, you can search by name. And you also have the style. Is it going to be Asian photography, fantasy, Halloween pumpkin, uh, viral animation, cyber realistic, comic babes, curtain films. So there's a lot. Maybe let's going to use the pet photography. Click on that. And click the generate option. Let's uh, close the, uh, these ads for now. You'll, it will wait for a little bit. 
takes a little while now as you can see once the uh, image has been generated unlike some other ai image generate generators stable diffusion is open source meaning anyone can access modify or build upon the model developers can fine tune it for specific use cases or create a personalized versions all right once you have this you can also have the option to you click this option you can direct download or buy maybe a coffee for the developers of this platform right by supporting that you also have an option to remix meaning if you're not satisfied with the uh the uh, output you might want to go for example um maybe landscape this time you can also choose for another one say for example dog eating uh maybe maybe a lord of the rings let's check now for this one we're not gonna choose for something realistic maybe um animation for now let's click on generate to see that users can fine-tune this table diffusion using custom data sets allowing them to generate images tailored to specific industries artistic styles or themes it is known for producing realistic and detailed images and it can create diverse styles as you can see just wait for it to load and adapt to different types of prompts from photorealistic landscapes to abstract art we have been using some of these ai tools like stable diffusion and mid journey to create one of our uh thumbnails sometimes all right which is since it's community driven all right it's open source it has a large community of developers artists and users who contribute models tutorials and extensions expanding the tools capabilities all right so click that nothing's um you see this that's gonna be uh, the uh, option so let's try again another one for example last one is gonna be uh for example japanese anime and then we go here and the aspect ratio maybe um, a square this time we're gonna be using the comic maps click the generate and see what will we have here let's wait for it a little bit now the loading times will depend on the complexity obviously of the image all right so you have these now our verdict is that you choose stable diffusion if you want it to stand out for its flexibility and customization options right it allows for fine tuning of models and even training custom models with a small set of images now you choose mid journey if you want a tool that is very easy to use with excellent style consistency and detailed imagery this is going to be a great choice all right and that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.